have to solve by common base, um, which says write each side of the equation in the same base. So when you have a base and then you have an exponent, the number that's lower to the exponent is called the base, right? There's the base, there's the exponent. So for example, if I had this, oh boy. If I had a to the x, this would be the base. And this would be the exponent, which we were talking about. Um, talked about this in more detail in grade ten. So it says write each side of the equation in the same base. If necessary, use exponent laws so that each side of the equation contains only one base. So if you have more than one base on the left or the right, then make sure you only have one. Equate the exponents on each side of the equation, and then solve for the variable. So. We have 5 to the 2x plus 3 equals 5 to the 7. Let's make it be something else. Let's say I have smiley face to the x equals smiley face to the 3. What can you tell me about x? x equals 3. Because if I have smiley face to the 3 equals smiley face to the x, x would have to be 3, right? Because they have to be the same in order for that to be a true statement. Left side equal right side, correct? So if we can make our bases be the same, then we can say that our exponents must then equal in order for it to be a true equation. So let's look at this one. I have 5 to the 2x plus 3 equals 5 to the 7. So what can I say then? 2x plus 3 must equal 7, correct? This exponent would have to equal this exponent if the equation is true, yes? Yeah? So if you get the bases to be the same, and this base to some exponent equals this base to some exponent, I can say the exponents must equal. So my next step after I get the same base, which I already have, is to say, okay, well then 2x plus 3 must equal 7. Because if I have smiley face to the x equals smiley face to 3, x has to equal 3. So if I have 5 to the 2x plus 3 equals 5 to the 7, bless you, then 2x must plus 3 must equal 7. And now I just need to solve. So what am I going to do? Subtract 3. I have to do reverse bed mass. So addition and subtractions first. So I get 2x equals 4. <coughs> then what do I do? And x equals 2. Now remember, if it says solve algebraically and you just say 2, you've shown no work. You have not solved algebraically. You're not getting the mark. Okay. That's what it is. Okay. We have 49 to the x minus 2 equals 343. What base can I make them both be? Yeah. 49. Is there something I could make it? 7 what? Seven to the what? No. To the one is forty-nine. No. <laughs> there we go. Just have to take a little break, ski. Seven squared. <laughs> no, no, it was seven to the what? <laughs> one. No, no. X minus two. Then we have to make the other side to the same base. So we're trying to find a base they can both be. 7 what is 343? 7 to the what? 7 to the yes. Mm -hmm. Your calculator. You could always go 7 squared, then 7 cubed, then 7 to the 4, 7 to the 5, 6. You can get 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 5. Way smallest. Yeah. 7 cubed. If 7 squared is 49, then you take 49 times 7 is 343, right? So it's 7 cubed. <laughs> so then I need to distribute my exponent through. So I'm going to get 2x minus 4. So I get 7 to the 2x minus 4 equals 7 to the 3. Now what can I say? If I have 7 to the, ex this, ex whoa, didn't predict that to do that. 
7 to this exponent and 7 to that exponent, what can I say about the exponents? They must equal each other. So if I have 7 to this exponent equals 7 to that exponent, then now I can say, well, 2x minus 4 must equal 3. Then what do I do? Add 4. 2x equals 7. And then? Divide by 2. x equals 7 over 2. Can I check these? No. Whenever it says solving, can I check? I didn't say should I check. <laughs> and yes, you should. But can I check? Yeah. Yeah. You could take the 2 and plug it back in and see if left side equals right side. You could take the 7 over 2 and plug it back in and see if left side equals right side. So you should walk away knowing you're right or not. Correct? Okay. 3 and 81. What base can I make them both be? And you always make them be a smaller base. 3. 3 to the 5x minus 1 is already done. Then I have to get 81 to base 3. 3 to the what is 81? 3 to the 3 is 27. 3 to the 4. You guys just randomly throwing things. So I'm like, yeah. That's it. 3 to the 5. 3 to the 10. 3 to the 4. 11, 12. Yeah, it's 4. You don't want to make the show out. <laughs> <laughs> so Alec actually figured it out as a calculator. You guys are just throwing stuff out into the show. All right. So we have 3 to the 5x minus 1 equals... <laughs> 3 to the 12x. You aren't sneaky. Okay. <laughs> Language? <laughs> oh, the ground. Thank you. All right, what do we do next? <laughs> it actually wasn't Jake. Yes, no, it was from behind. It was the girls kicked it. Or I don't think. It was. It was not me. It was Jake. It was definitely Jake. Don't be just throw it under the bus. It was clearly him. Really want. <laughs> All right. Yeah, my first. Ah, Cindy, you have pencil in it. Why is there a pencil? <laughs> well, it was just empty, and my pencil. Broke. It was not empty. It just leaked on me. Well, that's just residual. It's <laughs> <laughs> not the right word. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that looks like you got it. That looks like you got it. All right. Oh, we're recording. Oh, okay. Perfect. Perfect. Eventually, yeah, we can set our exponents equal because our bases are the same, and then we do what? Add one. Add one. I, why are we moving the one? Anyone do this? Look at, we're just moving it from one side. No. <laughs> that was the only option we should not have done. Okay. Oh. Minus 5x. Minus 5x, because we want to get the x's together. So if we have 1x on one side and 1x on the other side, we minus it. So we get negative 1 equals 7x, and then divide by 7. x equals negative 1 over 7. And life gets really good. Okay. We have 3. We have 27. We have root 3. What base can we make them all be? Three. Now this is something you were taught in grade 10. So the square root of 3 can be written as an exponent. So the index, bless you, on a square root is 2. The exponent on a number without an exponent is 1. Do you remember that from grade 10? Well, anyways, it is. An index is a 2. The exponent is a 1. Then your teacher taught you that you can write this as a fractional exponent instead of a radical. What you do is you take the index and you drop it under the exponent. So the square root of 3 is the same as 3 to the half. If it was the cube root, it would be to a third. And you were taught that in grade 10. All right. So what do we have currently? We have 3 to the exponent x. What's 27? 3 to the what? 3. 
3 to the 3. And then the square root of 3 is 3 to the oh. half, or 0 0.5 if we so choose. I have two bases that are the same. I can't actually drop exponents. You see how like I don't have one base and one base? So I can't drop the exponents yet. I have to make it be one base and one base. So how do I put these ones together? 3 to the x equals 3 to the what? Two bases, two exponents. What do you do? We talked about this yesterday. Add. So we're at 3 to the 3.5. Now we can say that this exponent must equal that one, and then we're done. x equals 3.5. Do you see how I did not just drop the exponents or the exponents out when I had two bases on that right-hand side? What does this say? Your turn. What do you suppose it is? Your turn. I just want you to do up to this one for now. What's on the board? We have base 2 and base 2. So we're going to set these equal, oops, little numbers equal, not the, what like an in-between? In right. So I'm going to have 5x plus 2 equals 17, subtract 2, 5x equals 15, divide by 5, and x equals 3. These ones are both base 2, so if they're both 2 to this exponent equals 2 to this exponent, then I can set the exponents equal. So I get 2 minus 3x equals 7x minus 8. Now some people get stuck on these ones when there's an x on one side and an x on the other. It happens, that's where the most common errors happen. Pick one and move it. I don't care which x you pick, just pick one and move it to the other x, and then your life will be better. So I'm going to add the 3x over. So that's what I'm going to choose to move. I could have moved the 7, it doesn't matter. But pick one and move it. So I get 2 equals 10x minus 8. Add my 8. And I get 10 equals 10x. Divide by 10. And x equals 1 when they both cancel off. Then I have 9 to the c plus 1 equals 729. So I get 9 to the c plus 1 equals 9 to the 3. So 729 is 3. Uh, 9 to the 3. So you, then you have the same base. So then you can set your exponents equal. So I get c plus 1 equals 3. Subtract 1. c equals 2. This one I can make them both be base 5. You always make them be the smaller base. So this one's 5 to the 4a plus 2, and 25 is 5 to the 2, and then it joins that exponent, 2a, because they multiply. So then I have this exponent equals this one, so I get 4a plus 2 equals 2a. Subtract my 4a over, and I get 2 equals negative 2a. Divide by negative 2. A equals negative 1. Okay, E, what base can I make them both? Good afternoon, everyone. We are...